YouTube fam. This is Shantae LeVette of Southern Girl Interiors and I'm about to start the next phase of my mini kitchen makeover and that is painting my kitchen cabinets white. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to complete my kitchen transformation. that you want to do is to remove all of your knobs. So for your next step, I've prepared some hot soapy water using Dawn dishwashing liquid because it's a degreaser. Our cabinets are about 10 years old, so I really want to go ahead and try to scrub as much surface grease or grime off of them as possible. I'm choosing to leave them in place simply because it gives me a little more leverage while I'm scrubbing them and then they can just be left open to air dry. So don't skip this step. And here's another quick tip when you're washing your cabinets. My sponge has a slight abrasive side on, on one side and it's a sponge on the other. You do want to make sure that you are scrubbing the faces because these will get painted. You don't have to do your boxes, the inside of your boxes, unless you are going to paint your boxes. Most people don't. But you really want to get a good scrub, like I said, to scrub the front and back. And you also want to make sure you get your sides very well because most people kind of grab their cabinets here around the knobs. So make sure that you're scrubbing really good with your sponge. Then you can flip it over and make sure that all of the grease is coming off. So now that my cabinet doors are completely dry after being thoroughly washed, I want to remove all of the doors from the boxes. I'm going to number each door on the inside where the hinge was. This will be door number one just so it'll make it a lot easier to reinstall them uh, once I'm done painting them to remember exactly where they go. And just another tip, when you remove all of your hardware that holds your cabinet doors in place, if you just stick it right inside the cabinet, it'll be there so when you get ready to go reinstall your cabinet doors, everything is right there in place. So after removing all of my cabinet doors and drawer fronts, I have a hole, a single hole where my old hardware used to sit. I'm actually changing my hardware out to um, these new pull handles. I actually got these at Home Depot, a six pack for nine, $10, which was really great. But they actually have two holes. I'll have to put two holes in my drawers and my cabinets for the new hardware. I actually have just some Elmer's wood filler. And what you want to do, of course, with your wood filler is to fill your holes. Handy dandy spackle knife. I'm just going to take it and just really work it into the hole. I mean, I don't have a, a, a lot on my spack, spackle knife, but I do have enough to make sure that it gets down into the hole to fill it. So I'm really trying to clean it up. I know I still have to sand the doors and also... Uh, degloss them but I'm gonna leave this on these to dry overnight but if you are going to change your hardware out it is well worth it to do the proper steps so that your cabinet doors and drawer fronts will come out looking spectacular and I'm in my garage I'm getting ready to start sanding my doors as well as my drawer fronts um, I came out here just because of more ventilation. I do have my safety glasses on. I have my mask that I'm about to put on. And the grit that I'm using right now is an 80 grit paper for the backs. And then for the front, I'm actually going to use uh, 100. So of course, when you're sanding, my garage will eventually be a project as well. It's so messy out here. Got my paper on. I'm just gonna knock the finish off and go with the grain of the wood really fast. So 
just like with the same process with the, the backs of the drawer fronts, I'm going to do the same thing to the back of the doors. I'm starting on the back first. And that's going to be with every process with the priming as well as the painting. And I have this angled brush. I don't know if you can, or angled sanding brush to kind of get into the grooves in the front. So if you can find one of these, it'll be very helpful to kind of sand down the inside of the grooves. So now that I'm done sanding all of the doors, I'm still going to use a deglosser just to get into those areas that I couldn't get with my sander and with my sanding block. Um, I have on gloves. I still have on my gear, face mask, and eyewear just to protect yourself. Okay. And of course, with every time I'm, I'm starting on the back. So as I degloss, I'll do the backs first and then the front, and also when I apply the uh, primer and also the paint, we'll start on the backs of the doors and cabinets first. So, you just want to get an old rag, some rags. Oh, got too much. And just go back over the surface to make sure and get into those areas where it's really hard to sand just to make sure that you get all of the varnish or the finish off completely. It takes about um, 10 minutes for this stuff to dry, so it's a process, but it'll definitely make sure that your paint um, is adhering to uh, your cabinets very well. 